We are now just 23 days away from Election Day. With time running out, we're wanting to make sure you know everything about the candidates vying for your votes. We're happy to forward the Meet the Candidates segment with not only one, but two guests this morning. Martin Carbaugh is here with me now. He is a Republican running for District 81. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thanks for having me here, Drew. You are a lifelong Fort Wayne resident, and you continue to give back to the community. I understand you're involved with Concordia's school board, where yep. you went to high school. You get involved with Three Rivers Festival, things that really sound familiar to a lot yeah, of our viewers. Yep. Why is that important to you, to be involved? Well, you know, it really goes back to the way I was raised. Uh, my, my parents both uh, were very involved uh, in working with charities and giving back to the community. And one not mentioned that I really enjoy working with now is Junior Achievement. Oh, sure. Um, and, and going into the various classrooms and teaching kids some of that basic uh, financial knowledge that they need to have for the rest of their life. Yeah, one of the questions I like to ask our candidates is just s anything unique about yourself, any unique hobbies or interests, something the voters wouldn't necessarily expect? Well, uh, I touched on a little bit in the break uh, that I was originally going to go into video production business. Um, what I've been able to do is still freelance a little bit. Oh, okay. And uh, one of the biggest thrills of my life was... Uh, being able to be a cameraman for NFL Network during the Super Bowl coverage last year. Wow, yeah. that is... <laughs> it was cool. I will hope to talk to you about that even more. <laughs> I can only imagine the memories you made doing that. It was that. pretty awesome. Media Day and Media Row coverage. So That is... Cool. I'm sure there are a lot of envious viewers right now <laughs> listening. Uh, this is your first time running for office. Yes. What made you want to get into politics? Well, you know, uh, being in financial services, uh, I... I would say most of my clients are more middle class, and so I've seen the struggles that they've gone through. Um, I have a lot of public school teachers who are clients, and I see some of their struggles and concerns, and really want to be a part of, of helping my, my constituents of clients and the neighbors that I live with, um, and, and getting our government uh, to continue on a fiscally conservative track. Uh, we are the financial envy of the nation, and uh, I want to keep it that way. Sure, and Martin, again, is hoping to represent District 81, which is in Allen County. What have you heard most from people as you're campaigning out and about? Well, it, it's jobs. I mean, that's really the number one issue. Uh, I think it fixes a lot of things. Uh, where there's been spending cuts, you know, with more jobs comes more taxes, more revenue. We wouldn't have to cut. So ultimately, I think it comes down to jobs, and I think the way government, state government does that best is really through... Um, limiting the regulations to reasonable regulations so where we're getting in the way and it's not hurting uh, people from a safety standpoint reduce regulations uh, and also have a competitive tax code both for uh, businesses and individuals uh, so that we can uh, you know we're United States but I love stealing jobs from other states it's okay <laughs> now, campaigning for office is something many people won't ever tackle yeah. and it's a lot of work it's a, a huge time commitment what has surprised you most about campaigning for the first time um you know i i had a little bit of the knowledge of time commitment i helped russ yale last year on a city council campaign sure. and um you know i i guess just how many people are willing to talk at the doors it's been it's been overwhelming and um you know both sides republican and democrat uh, very friendly. I mean, I know Fort Wayne's one of the friendliest uh, towns Absolutely. in the nation, uh, but it really is proven when you go door knocking. And uh, I've been doing that all year, and it's been one of the, the best parts. I always tell people, if that's all campaigns were, I'd do this all the time. <laughs> that's awesome. That sounds great. Well, Martin, thank you for spending time and knocking on our door this morning and letting us get to know you a little better. We thank appreciate you so much. it. We do have this race covered. Martin's opponents are Wynn Moses and Alex Avery. Alex will join us next weekend on Sunday the 21st. When Moses will come in the following weekend, Sunday the 28th. We'll be right back.